guys, I need your help, okay? My garage game has gone way downhill this summer. I went from having my GTR and my Challenger to this. This is a Mustang my wife bought brand new when she lived in LA. But what I need from you guys is suggestions in the comments below on what I should replace my previous toys with. I'm thinking AMG GT, I'm thinking another GTR, I'm thinking a Viper, I'm thinking a F-Type, I'm thinking a 911. Guys, I want to know what you think I should fill that spot with. Comment below. Let's see what this video is about today. So check out this sweet hat, guys. This is actually from the early 80s, right? Oh, and here's a horse. <laughs> Anyways, this hat's from the early 80s. It was my father-in-law's hat. See that little pin right there? Yeah, 426. My father-in-law had a 71 426 Challenger, a blue one. It's actually um, in Chicago now, owned by a collector. Uh, still probably one of the uh, coolest examples of a 426. So I recently sold my car on Car Gurus, and that is the reason for this video. Guys, I, I kind of looked around, I looked I read through forums, I looked for reviews on how the whole car gurus process works, and I found some info, but I found it in multiple areas, and there is some items that I could not find answers on, so I was just left to trust the process. This isn't gonna be a very exciting review. It's gonna be me uh, talking about my experience, but it is meant to be informative if you're looking to sell or buy a car on car gurus that is the point of this review i'm going to talk through the process that i experienced so this has nothing to do with this video but just for the sake uh, of fun and knowledge i sold my 2009 nissan gtr on car gurus i had it listed on auto trader car gurus facebook um, and i had over 20,000 views on car gurus about 300 people inquired saying they were interested but only one bought it guys just to be clear i have uh, had over 30 almost 40 vehicles titled in my name that means a lot of transactions both with private party and dealerships i just recently sold my challenger that i owned for eight years off of auto trader i've sold cars from craigslist i've sold cars on marketplace on facebook this was my first experience selling a car or listing a car on car gurus. Just because it's car gurus, guys, there's still yahoos out there. <laughs> a lot of the, hey, I'll give you my, uh, my, my two motorcycles or mopeds uh, and my jet ski for your car. Or, hey guys, could you, uh, could, could you wait two weeks and my credit should be better? Will you hold the car for me? or, hey, I'll give you $10,000 less. There's still a lot of that bull crap you gotta weed through, especially dealing with a car that has the visibility that the GTR does. Obviously, there's probably gonna be more than that if you're looking to sell your 1989 Taurus. So one thing that's definitely nice about car gurus is they don't take your credit card information. You don't have to pay anything up front uh, to list your car. It's a very simple process. Uh, you know, a couple photos uploaded, a little description, and voila, your car's listed. That's very easy. But guys, they still want their money, but they're trying to recoup their money on the back end is kind of car guru's MO. And this is kind of the issue I have with the car guru experience. If you want to get that person that's interested in your car additional information, maybe uh, send them a, a video of your car or uh, some additional pictures of your car or even if you just try to tell them something. Even if you're trying to be honest, they block all that content. So you get to the point where you have to talk in code to that person <laughs> looking to buy your car. One thing that is definitely in the buyer's favor on car gurus is the whole uh, good price, fair price, overpriced. That's obviously not going to benefit the seller in any manner, guys. Because if I want to price my car, my car a little higher because I have stuff done to it, it might get overlooked by the buyer because of that feature on car gurus. 
Now as a seller, that's a great tool. It just tells you right up front where that car you're buying is. Did I just say that backwards? I might have just said that backwards. As the buyer, it's a great feature for you because it tells you where that car is at, good value, fair value, overpriced, based on all the other cars on car gurus. Let's get to how that process works, okay? So the potential buyer contacts the seller, you can negotiate a price, whatever, you agree upon a price. So the guy that bought my car was on the other side of the country, didn't come see the car, didn't, uh, didn't want to see the car, he was just buying it sight unseen. And guys, let me tell you why I think he did that. I made a YouTube video, which again, I had to code to him how to view that video. <laughs> and again, I wasn't trying to get out of paying my $99. I did pay my $99. I'll get to that. But I wanted someone that was potentially on the other side of the country to see my car. I was completely honest about it. I went through and I showed every scratch. I talked about any flaw. I said the good, the bad, and the ugly about this car. It was about a 16 minute video. You can actually watch that exact video that I still kept on our YouTube channel. If you're interested, if you would like to see a point of reference and what might help you in selling your next car. But guys, he was very comfortable. I was honest about what I was doing. He saw the car, he knew exactly what he was getting into, and he purchased this car sight on scene. He sent a message through CarGuru saying that I am purchasing your car. I get a message from CarGuru saying, congratulations, you've sold your car, let's start the process. At this point in time, guys, CarGurus hands off the transaction to a company called AutoPay. They're a company out of Colorado, and they're more or less just an auto refinance, auto loan company. Uh, their reviews, because I looked into that, are definitely hit or miss. There's a lot of negative things said about the company, but as I read through those reviews, I think there's a lot of bitterness for people that maybe don't have credit or couldn't get what they wanted out of the refinance process or auto loan process, therefore taking their steam out on this auto pay company. So this is where I got nervous, guys. I didn't know what I was getting into here. Let me tell you why. The auto pay process starts, okay? And this is where I got weirded out because I couldn't find the proof. I saw a couple forums where people were talking about it, but it wasn't spelled out completely. The whole process with auto pay was not cut and dry anywhere I could see. This is what happened. Auto pay contacted me within 24 hours of car gurus telling me my car had been sold. Congratulations, yay. A representative called me, he was a nice guy. He kind of laid out how that process would work. And I'm just, I'm weirded out. I got my red flags up everywhere. <laughs> I wanna make sure I am in control of my car sale. So they start with um, verifying me, the seller's identity. If there's multiple people's names on the title, like my wife, they need to verify her identity as well. They do that through your driver's license. They do that through a copy of the title. If there happens to be a lien on the car, guys, they need that information, who the bank is that the lien is through. They need to verify everything. On the buyer's side, they need to verify your identity, make sure you're a legit person. This obviously makes a lot of sense, especially if you're selling a car to someone that is not local. This is good stuff. What else happens is they need to verify where that money is coming from, from the buyer. They verify they have funds, they verify there's a loan in place, they even obviously offer to provide that loan if it isn't in place. AutoPay then creates a bill of sale for both you, the buyer, and the seller. This is where I actually found out who the person buying my car was. Their information was spelled out on there. Their name, their signature, their address, the price you agreed upon. This is a bill of sale contract. This is making it official, guys. You also will get a uh, power of attorney from AutoPay, more or less saying they can act in your defense or act, uh, it's a power of attorney, for you in the sale. That's from both the buyer and the seller. That needs to be notarized. They want you to send a picture, send it in to them. They will also send you a label for FedEx to ship it to them overnight so they get a hard copy in their hands. 
From there, they open an escrow account. The escrow account is where the money goes. So the seller puts the money into the escrow account. Um, and from there, if there is a lien on the car, I did have a lien on my car. That lien has to be paid off first before anything can happen. So I have the bill of sale signed. I have the power of attorney signed. The money is in this escrow account that AutoPay created. And now I have to give them the wire transfer, which they charge $15 for, but that is the safest way to go about it. Uh, a wire transfer information to the bank that holds the lien on the car. So they need the loan paid off. This process took about a day to verify everything. <laughs> they only say they wire transfer things at 3 p.m. the day after they get all the information verified. That's one thing that I'll cut to really quick, guys. This process is not speedy. This was about a week and a half, almost a two week process to go through all these steps from the day when we said we were going to sell the car to when the money was in my account and I sent the title off in the mail. Like it was almost two weeks. It's not speedy at all. And this auto pay company, I got every impression that they wanted to hang on to that money as long as possible. It's in an escrow account. I would only assume they're making money off of that. So what I did and what I would recommend is I was sending emails, making phone calls every day, following up. What do I need to do next? What are you waiting on? Do you have everything you need? I was doing everything in my power to make sure I was in control of the sale of my car, making sure I was informed. I saw some negative reviews saying it took so long. Well, stay on top of it. So the money got transferred from the escrow account from AutoPay to the lien holder. I was on top of it. Hey, are you showing a wire transfer coming through? Hey, when will that clear? They cleared it. Uh, they said it was processing the same day and it would be cleared the following day is the way it worked for me. Once they cleared, I had to show a zero balance. So I was on top of it. I was speaking to the banker. Hey, can you send me a letter right away as soon as that zero balance is clear? Once AutoPay has confirmation on that zero balance, that is when they will then send the wire transfer to your bank, your checking or savings account that you choose. Another $15. So we're the $99 for the sale of the car and you're paying that to AutoPay in the end. And then I had $15 for the first wire transfer and $15 for the second wire transfer. Those are all the fees. No more fees. That's it. I then showed uh, the, the funds in my account the next day. I had all the money. I still had the title in my name because the out-of-state buyer was toying with coming in and picking up the car. He had to s set up the shipping. I met with the shipper, car shipped off, bada bing, bada boom. I could go into a lot further detail. If you have any questions or concerns about car gurus, private party sales, guys, I have a lot of experience. I'd love to help you out comment below, subscribe, check out some of our other videos. Let me know if you have any questions. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you guys for watching today's video on car gurus. I really hope you guys liked it and learned something and I hope this really does help you guys if you are looking to sell your car or buy one from this website. And if you guys have a cool car or bought a cool car from car gurus, we would love to come to your house and review it. You can send us an email at performanceonwheels111 at gmail.com so we can come check out your sweet car and meet you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye, guys.